Prominent Russian opposition figures led a march of at least 1,000 people in central Berlin Sunday, criticizing Russian President Vladimir Putin and his war in Ukraine and calling for democracy in Russia. Behind a banner that read, No Putin. No war, the protesters were led by Yulia Navalnaya, the widow of top Putin critic Alexei Navalny, as well as Ilya Yashin and Vladimir Karamurza, who were freed from Russian detention in a high-profile prisoner exchange this summer. Shouting, Russia without Putin and other chants in Russian, the demonstrators held up signs with a wide array of messages on a red background, including, Putin equals war, and, Putin is a murderer, in German. Some marched with the flags of Russia or Ukraine, as well as a white-blue-white flag used by some Russian opposition groups. Organizers said the march began near Potsdamer Platz and went through the Brandenburg Gate and Checkpoint Charlie and was expected to end outside the Russian embassy. The march demands the immediate withdrawal of Russian troops from Ukraine, the trial of Vladimir Putin as a war criminal, and the release of all political prisoners in Russia, the protesters said in a statement. Как у вас настроение? Вы здесь собрались для того, чтобы сказать нет? Войне! Нет! Войне! Нет! Войне! Нет! Войне! Нет! Войне! Нет! Войне! Smoke was seen rising across the Beirut skyline as explosion shook the city on Saturday. Since late September, Israel has dramatically escalated its bombardment of Lebanon, vowing to cripple Hezbollah and end its barrages in Israel. More than 3,400 people have been killed in Lebanon by Israeli fire 80% of them in the eight weeks according to Lebanon's health ministry. Hezbollah began firing rockets into northern Israel the day after Hamas surprise attack into Israel on October 7, 2023 ignited the war in Gaza. Hezbollah and Hamas are both allied with Iran. For nearly a year, the conflict was mostly contained to the areas along the border between Israel and Lebanon. The conflict dramatically escalated on September 23 with intense Israeli airstrikes on south and east Lebanon as well as Beirut's southern suburbs, leaving hundreds dead and leading to the displacement of nearly 1.2 million people. Israel began a ground invasion of south Lebanon on October 1, causing wide destruction in border villages.